Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. I'm going to solve some tactics right now and uh, it's been a really long time since I did that. This is going to be really, really tough for me. Uh, but please join in and pause the video um, before I either find the solution or fail at the solution. And feel free to challenge yourself as well as we go along. Uh, so we started out um, last time with uh, some decent puzzles and ended up at 2,362 in, um, in tactics rating. So we're going to go ahead and uh, solve these um, right now and hopefully we will get some more and higher rating. That's why you're, you're all here, right? to get more and more tough challenges. All right, so let's start. But as I said, it's been a really long time since I did any of this. I've been in the hospital for almost a week and I've had some, um, let's say bad karma. <laughs> so let's go. So white's position is quite intimidating for black, I'd have to say. The knight on f7 and the bishop on b3 and the queen on f5 are really just annoying. They're just annoying pieces. And capturing on f7 with the rook does not work due to queen captures back, check, king h8 and queen f8, check, followed by rook captures f8 and rook captures f8 mate. So I have to figure out something else. Even though that would be preferable to get rid of that knight somehow. But I don't see how I can accomplish that. So then we have to look at um, checks and captures. Since there are no really good captures here, I'm guessing it has to do with a check or a um, really, really strong move that doesn't allow knight to h6, a forcing move. Knight h6 check would also lead to a mate for white. So I'm one move away from getting mated myself, so I have to deal with that somehow. So I'm thinking queen e2 or queen d2, first of all. He can't block with the rook or the queen, so he has to move the king. But where do I put the queen and where does the king go? That's the question. <clears throat> so queen e2 check, king to g1. And it's just falling apart. I don't have a follow-up move. What about queen to d2 check? Then if king to h1, what I do then? If king to g1, then I was thinking queen to d4 check or queen captures d4. But king to h1 there. I feel like I'm stuck. This might also be uh, some sort of um, some sort of puzzle where you try to defend. So we might have to look at G6 also. I just realized. G6, knight h6 check, king h7. It's almost as if that solves most of my problems. <laughs> kind of funny, but uh, okay. So after g6, then knight to d8 check. That is disastrous. Yeah, knight d8 check, and he's going to capture on f8. With mate to follow. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it has to be a check. G6 does not work due to knight d8. So queen e2 check, king g1. And queen back to e3.
and then if king to h1 <laughs> I do not see how I can proceed <clears throat> I could maybe take here though maybe that's just it maybe just queen captures b3 that solves most of my problems because then the knight to h6 check isn't lethal because H ca g captures h6 and the queen doesn't have any good squares to go to I think but let's just check that because after this move Knight here check. Um, I have to take. G captures h6. But then, does he have queen to g4 check? Queen g4 check. And what do I do then? Or maybe, after queen captures b3, knight h6 check, I can play... King h8. No, I don't have queen to g8 because the knight is guarding g8. So yeah, queen captures b3, knight h6 check. Pawn captures, queen g4 check. What if I just move my king to h8? King to h8 there. And white doesn't have any more checks. So if white takes my queen, I'm going to play rook to g8. And it's going to be a rook versus rook and probably a draw. If he plays queen captures on d1, I'm going to take on d1. And I'll be up material. So yeah, I think this should be it. Really? Okay. That was anticlimactic. But... Uh, <laughs> Just looking at everything and so realizing nothing is working, then spotting that there is a fork in the position that worked out. So, even though I spent six and a half minutes on that one, uh, I think it was time well spent, so to speak. In a real game, you would spend that amount of time to solve the problems at the board if your position ever looked like this. I don't think I would have rushed into doing anything if I had the time to think about it all right let's continue queen to f5 okay so i have a discovery from the knight on d on e5 sorry but um is it any good and if so where do i put the knight right now black doesn't have any lethal threats he is probably threatening to capture on c2 if I go too far away with my queen. And also I have to be a bit careful about the back rank if my queen moves because rook captures e1 is mate. But other than that, I think I should have an advantage in this position. I just don't know how to proceed yet. So, what do we do? I really want to play knight to g4. That looks like the obvious move. Knight to g4 check. I think the only move for black is to play king to f8. Uh, otherwise, I'll play knight to f6 check. But then... <laughs> that's a big deal. The, here comes the funny part. Then I'm actually getting checkmated. Because the queen can capture on f6. And if my queen captures back, then, well, checkmate on e1. <laughs> well, is it, though? Yeah, it is. So, knight g4. Ch 
check king to h7 let's say knight f6 check queen captures f6 and i cannot capture the queen so knight g4 check king h7 what do i play there do i simply take on e8 Rook captures e8, knight captures e8. But I do not have... I do not have the fork at that particular time. And what's the difference between knight to g4 and knight to d7? There might be a difference there that I'm not seeing. But I wish the king didn't have to go to h7. Like, if the king didn't have the option to go to h7, then this looks kind of easy. But... Since rook captures e8 does not come with check, this is hard. I'm unsure about knight d7 or knight g4. So what if we just play knight to c6 and wherever the king moves or if the queen blocks we just take the queen if necessary or we take the rook on e8 and then we capture on a7. Seems like a fair deal. So knight to c6. If the king moves, then we take on e8, no matter where it goes, uh, it can't go here, sorry, here, here, or here, other than if it goes here, then I have checkmate. So that's not working for black, but um, wherever it goes, like either g8 or h7, I think I can take on e8, and then after knight takes, I take here, and if this rook here moves on, on a7, then I can simply move this rook back to e1. Yeah, it has to be the correct answer. I do not find a mate here. I don't find a way to win a substantial amount of material after these two moves either. And since both of these, uh, this is a tactical puzzle, right? And there's only one solution on these on chess.com. And that means that either one of these couldn't possibly be the solution unless there was something wrong with one of the, one of them but i see only a wrong thing with both of them uh since both of them leads to f the f6 square but nothing happens on the f6 square i'm going to go ahead and play knight to c6 check take here and then take here all right good game that one was rated 2380 okay and we gained five points for that one. Cool. So let's go ahead and do another one. So I think black just played knight captures the rook on d1. That's correct. And how do we find the mate here? It looks quite simple, doesn't it? Mate in two. Check. And mate. Is there something I'm missing here? What am I missing? I don't understand. We're going to go ahead and play this. Okay, so this puzzle hasn't been rated yet. It is pending. That's why <laughs> I I got it thrown at me. Because, well, they uh, really just want to, let's say, figure out who can fail. And, uh, I mean, who can succeed and who can fail at this puzzle. So... That's how they estimate the rating of the tactic, pretty much. Alright, 
But I gained 8 points from that one. That was a made in 2. That's no fun. This next one will be much, much harder. I I bet. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, king to f7. Yeah, this looks much harder already. <laughs> what is happening? I'm a piece down, I'm a pawn up, but that doesn't help me very much. The, the F pawn doesn't really do much. But can I, can I somehow um, do some, some sort of swindle in this position? Or did I sacrifice a piece at F7? Nope. I don't understand how this came to be. Uh-huh. I could check on h7 because the rook is pinned. That's why. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to look at is rook captures g7 check. After the bishop has to capture back. And then what do we play? We can play bishop h6. We can play rook g1. Uh, rook g1 then king f8 probably. Probably, maybe. But if king to f8, then I have bishop to d6. Right? That looks nasty. So rook captures g7, bishop captures g7, rook g1. If king to f8, then bishop d6 check. And the rook has to guard. The queen has to take it. Or the bishop has to guard. Either way, I will mate black in that case. So is there anything else? After rook captures g7, bishop captures g7, and rook to g1. Any other moves black can do? He can play rook to g8 maybe. Just maybe he can play that. But then I have queen to g6. Check. Then I'm forcing the king to move to e7. If the king moves to f8, I'm going to play bishop d6 check again. And the queen has to give itself up for the bishop. So king to e7 there. And then what do I play? Then I can play bishop to g5. And the bishop has to take or has to move to f6. Then queen captures f6. His mate. So what else can he play then? Rook captures g7. Bishop captures g7. Rook g1. He has a check. He can play rook e1 check. Then I take on e1. And I'm at least an exchange up. That should be fine. Rook captures g7, bishop captures g7, rook g1. <laughs> yeah. If the king moves, I'm just simply just going to take that piece if it doesn't move to f8. And if f8, then bishop d6 check, followed by mate. No matter what. All right. I'm going with this line. If you guys haven't um, tried to calculate this yourself, then please do so. I might be wrong on this, uh, I'm not sure. I feel like I've spent enough time on this line, or these lines. I don't see a good way for him to um, deal with the threat. So I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, rookie one. All right, good game. Namaste to my opponent. <laughs> a worthy opponent, but that's really nice when you can see every single line fails for black and the probably best move is rookie one uh that's kind of funny <laughs> so being exchange up uh is good enough to win this since i have the f pawn as well but i have to be a bit careful i think because the two bishops might become a bit aggressive down the line after some pawns has been exchanged all right one final puzzle 
Let's go. One final puzzle. Bishop captures b2. Oh. So. <laughs> what is going on here? Is black trying to swindle me? First off, I'm thinking bishop two. Bishop captures b2. Why not? But then I'm also kind of thinking king to b1. But if king to b1, then knight to... If knight to c3, then king captures b2, right? So I'm really unsure what these two moves uh, does. What, which one is the better one? Bishop captures b2. Then what's going on? Ah, my queen is hanging. I did not realize that until now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So if bishop captures b2, then my queen is hanging. But is that a problem? Is that a problem? Okay, it might be a problem. I'm, I was thinking that after bishop captures b2, queen captures e3, then rook h1. And I'm almost mating black. But the fact is that black has knight to c3. But maybe, just maybe, after bishop captures b2, queen captures e3, I have bishop captures a4. I have two bishops and a rook for the queen. Looks good, but it doesn't look good enough. <laughs> Okay, so let's find out if king b1 is just a draw or not, all right? So king b1, then knight c3 check, then I have to take on b2, right? But then knight captures d1, yeah, okay, that fails. So already we can see that king to b1 fails because of that. So then we have to capture on b2. So king to b1, knight to c3. We could take with a queen, but that really doesn't make any sense. So king b1, knight c3 check, king captures, knight captures d1 check, and he's winning our queen, no matter what we do. So bishop captures, queen captures, and knight bishop captures here. Looks good enough. Really? Really? All right, let's retry it then. So that's not good enough. Huh. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this one. Oh my goodness. That is freaking awesome. Whoa, that one has a rating of 2,721. Okay, but yeah, Bishop F6. <laughs> wow, that's, that's astonishing. Like I was... I was just thinking that, well, pick up the knight, that's good enough. I can't I can't threaten mate here on h8. That's that's my problem with rook to h1. Because knight to c3. But with bishop to f6. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. And that's so great. Oh man. Because you're stopping all of these moves with these two bishops right here. Wow. I like that. And I think I'm going to end it there as well. Uh, yeah, let's end it there. And uh, let's just have a look at how we did. So we started out at 2,363. Was that it? And we ended up with 2,376. Uh, but we got one puzzle where it was like, I don't know, uh, main in two, check and mate, yeah. And we gained eight points for that, and that is kind of silly. So if that wasn't pending, that would be worth 0 0.1 points <laughs> for us. But okay, this was uh, this was fun. Uh, it, as I said, it's been a really long time since I've calculated too much in chess. I've played a lot of Bullet and Blitz these uh, past few weeks, but not 
anything else. And uh, sometimes it's just really great to just sit down and calculate. You feel like a boss when you get them correct. And you kind of feel a bit bad, but still great when you get them almost correct. But as in this case, bishop f6, I totally missed that. Um, but when you when you don't get those, but you still got the main idea, you will kind of get something out of it. But if you're totally wrong, uh, as in some of the puzzles I've done previously, I'm just completely off. I don't know what I'm doing. That's where you have to deal with um, you being just a bad player. <laughs> That's what I tell myself at least. Like, I'm just a bad player if I can't find um, even the correct thing to look for. But yeah, that's that's how I think of it, at least. But um, this um, this went all this all went very well, at least. But thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or want to play a game, if you want to chat, if you just want to relax and enjoy some chess, and then join me on stream, the Norwegian Chess Giant on Twitch. And I'm also thinking about going on to another streaming channel or streaming page called Mixer, which is Microsoft's uh, own streaming platform. But I'm not sure yet. Uh, I want to try it, but <clears throat> there's not many that watch chess at that platform yet. So if I go over there, I might be the first one to ever stream chess on Mixer. All right. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe down below or up there depending on how your head is turned. And bye.